So this is a little bit of an old story, but I just can't get it out of my head. I'm trying. Maybe doing this video will help me get it out of my head. But it was reported a while ago that Yahoo fired their number two guy, I don't remember who, but paid him $42 million going out the door. And they said the problem with him was that he couldn't sell Madison Avenue on Yahoo. And it just kind of boggles my mind. First of all, I don't ever remember getting paid $42 million for not being able to sell something. Hell, I've never been paid $42 million for selling something. So, so that just kind of gets me. <laughs> but even more than that is the concept that a company would have the audacity to say, well, we're going to fire this guy because he couldn't sell Madison Avenue on Yahoo. Hello? What did Yahoo do to make themselves marketable to Madison Avenue? I mean, you may be sitting back at your corporate office scratching your head going, why can't Johnny sell? You ever think about what have we given Johnny to sell? How can he position it? Why does it make sense? Why should people buy from him? Why should people buy from us? Now I know you're not going to pay Johnny $42 million when you kick his butt out the door, just like nobody paid me that. Although, let me go on record and say that I was never fired for lack of sales performance. But, you need to consider as an organization what you're providing to your salespeople so they can sell. You need to look at it from their perspective because from the ivory tower, it may look easy. But when you're in the field, with your hands dirty, doing the job that needs to be done, it's not so easy. So pay attention to what you have to offer, how it's positioned, and why people are buying from you, and how many of your people are being successful. In the old, old days, IBM always wanted at least 75% of their sales team to qualify for the 100% club. Now that wasn't being altruistic on their part. That was the company saying that people of average ability should be able to receive the results from the job that they are in just like everybody else. So. Work it as a company, look inwardly, and figure out what you need to do. Because otherwise, maybe you're going to be writing somebody a check for $42 million because they couldn't sell your product. Thanks for listening.